Hey guys, so today you and I are going to talk about studying. So let's get into it. So the question in question was, hi Frederick, thanks for the video. I am studying computer science and we've gotten through the regular two semesters of Java. I also have Java experience from an earlier university attempt. In the last few years I've been studying C Sharp on my own, using for example plural sites and books. I I've seen there are, I've seen that there are C sharp remote courses in the university around the land. Would it be a waste of time f of Would it be a waste of time for me taking C sharp one and two um, the courses C sharp one and two? I feel that I won't learn much new things, but it's worth having them. Is it worth having them, or would I be better or better served by just using my knowledge to build a demo app. Uh, from what I can derive, what you're asking me is basically that you, well, you want to no know if you should add more knowledge in C Sharp to your, uh, well, to your CV basically, even though it might not be all that much. Okay, so I'm assuming you, you're looking at, you're asking me, should I add these things? because they give me weight to my CV because there's courses that you can take and add to the CV because as what I could derive from this you seem to already have some C sharp knowledge uh, should you do that or should you build a demo app well this is a very specific question I can't really tell you which which is which because at the end of the day I have no idea how good you are at C sharp I mean for all I know you could just put C sharp on your CV right now and just skip the courses because the course I mean sure taking a course at the university that's going to add weight to your CV and building a demo app it's also going to add weight which is more valuable is hard to say I can tell you right now that in general terms it depends a little bit on interviewers and the people who are doing the hiring and their value system some of them are going to think that it's much 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 better uh, that you have two courses on a, from a university because university means uh, so well it, it has a it comes pre-selected university education is usually something that the industry favors building a demo app on the other hand if that's a fairly serious thing it also it it is both of these things are good I mean should I just take the the sheep way out here and say do both because I could but at the same time I want you to I want to say that the thing that you're going for is to get experience as quickly as possible see if you already are working your say well, your way through Java then I would ask very much why are you learning C sharp as well and I mean if you do it because you you just find it interesting and you want to learn it then go for it there's no problem there whatsoever education is gen in general terms a very good thing but I think that you have to understand or I think that you should have a perspective on why you are studying in the first place because if you're not studying just for the sake of learning well then you have a goal of some sort and I assume now that your goal is to actually make it into the industry and here's the thing there is such a thing, there's only so much that you can learn from studying. This is something that some people really do, it's a, it's a problem that I've seen in many people, where they, some of them are actually afraid. I've seen that this is a very interesting phenomenon. I've worked with people who were very academically inclined, extremely good with books, extremely good with courses, and aced all their tests and so forth. But they were scared of doing because their the way their mind works is very simple in terms of it, it, it's extremely good at absorbing information and memorizing things but they felt enormous pressure and anxiety the second they needed to use those those uh, well that knowledge in a creative fashion because that is what you're doing guys you are studying so that you will learn the mental tools that you need to actually do things that are not in the textbooks usually and that is like it's uh, it's the same like it's the how an engineer or it's the same thing for the engineers you learn all of the different sciences to a degree 
in order to be able to build things, to make things, and that is a creative process. You need to know the basics first before you can do that, but that is your ultimate goal. And when we, as with everything that you can possibly study, there's only so much you can gain from studying. The, the, but you have to understand that, that this is just preparations. You are preparing to do the actual work. And the faster that you can get to an actual, in this case, a job or actual work experience, the better. So just taking course on course on course for the sake of taking more courses and inflating your CV, that is not what I think that you should focus on. I think that this is something that you should do to a certain degree. But remember, the primary focus if I'm assuming now that your goal is to become a software developer, a professional software developer, you are adding all of this stuff so that you are good enough to do the work. But if you can find a situation where you can actually do the work, you should favor that over the education itself because it is just preparations. You can, of course, go back and re-educate yourself at a later stage, but the quicker you can get to work experience, the better. So what I want you to take away from this is that I can't answer for you if you should add, in this case, if you should add more courses to your CV or if you should build a demo app. My, su my suggestion is just that you do both, but with one amendment to your strategy here. And that's the, the amendment that I want to give you is stop trying to focus so much on your education. Don't make that the only thing you're doing. Try to actually start applying for jobs. Try to take free on freelance work. Try to do open source. Try to actually make it into the industry. Because if you are just trying to, it's uh, preparation paralysis. You're, you're just trying to add more and more stuff. You're preparing more and more uh, to do, uh, you're preparing more than you're actually trying to do the thing that you're supposed to be doing, then you might end up exactly as I was saying. You might find that you don't actually have the courage to make it as a software developer. You, you, you're you afraid. You're afraid to go into the industry because uh, that means to do things for real. And as long as you just can study things, well, then you can just collect. And I can tell you right now, studying is a very useful thing, but it is not the same thing as doing. And that is where you're going to find experience. And experience is not something that you can only gain from study. You have to actually go through things and live uh, and live through things. And I think that you should get there as quickly as you can uh, can possibly get there, because you are going to evolve more by doing that than you could possibly ever uh, you ever evolve from just studying. Have a great day.